Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Kim with Pink Squirrel Studios and I've got a traveling Dollar Tree haul for you today. Uh, this one was in Mason City, Iowa. I went to two Mason City, Iowa stores. This is the first one. Okay, no, this was the second one I went to. Um, it was a very interesting store. I've been to Mason City before. It's been a long time. And uh, everybody, it was one of those places where everybody knew everybody. And um, they were all talking about somebody who had passed away. And so if anybody from Mason City is watching, uh, my condolences to you, the family, um, all of you who knew her. Apparently she was 56 and it was a very unexpected passing. But it was interesting. Um, I mean, I live in Iowa and probably a lot of people think, well, everybody knows everybody in Iowa because it's not very big. But I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you know, I live in a neighborhood, you know, in the suburbs, and um, yeah, I don't know a lot of people. We don't, all, everybody doesn't know everybody in this city. And let, let's just put it that way. It's not one of those small towns where everybody knows everybody. And it was interesting because that part of town in Mason City, they did seem to all know everybody. And the gal that worked there was amazing. I mean, people would come in and she knew everybody who came in. Some gal was, it was during the week that I went and some gal came in and she said, well, shouldn't you be in school? And she said, no, I was out, I got out for a doctor's appointment today. And, you know, and they chit chatted and it was just really kind of cool to see, um, you know, how, how small that town was and just how close everybody was. So anyway, let's go ahead <clears throat> and get started. So I picked up a couple, well, actually I picked up, these are sometimes very hard to find so when I can find them I grab them but I love these banana chips I take them to work and it's they're a really good value um, it's a decent sized bag these are four ounce bags and like I say really really good value so grab those whenever I see them and they also don't have um, Oh, let's see. This one is just banana, sugar, palm oil, which palm oil is probably not the best for you, and or coconut oil, artificial banana flavor. That I didn't realize was in there. Um, but the thing I like is that they don't they don't uh, put preservative, the sulfur on them. Like a lot of dried fruit will have that on there. So I also found um, these Makeup Beauty Remover Towels. Now I have some that are, they're round, they, they're like kind of scruffy on one side and then smooth on the other side, but I wanted to try this kind and see if I would like them better. So they had a couple different colors, grabbed those, thought I'd give them a go. Okay, what's in here? Oh, <laughs> the last time I had a party, uh, it was a birthday party for two of the kids, I was making a pot of coffee. Normally I make a cup of coffee at a time. I've got a Ninja and I love my Ninja. It doesn't take pods. It's just I've got a reusable coffee filter made out of stainless steel and I can just brew a cup at a time. But it doesn't make a huge large pot of coffee Coffee for when company is here. So, and I know I have some of these someplace. I know I do. I just don't know where I put them. Clearly it was not with the coffee stuff. So, um, anyway, I went to make a big, you know, large pot of coffee and I didn't have any filters. So I had to improvise that day and yeah. So anyway, grab some of those. Then I saw this, this Sure Fresh reusable square container. I hadn't seen these square ones before. So I thought, well, these are kind of cool. Freezer safe, top rack dishwasher safe. Um, I don't know that I'll put food in them. I've got glass, you know, some of the big, huge uh, mason jars that are glass that I normally store, like flour and stuff like that in. But these might be good to store, um, you know, packets of food, like oatmeal or um, granola bars, that sort of thing. So anyway, grab that. And if I don't use it in the kitchen, it'll be used in the, in the craft room. So it won't go to waste. I saw these. I had never seen this square little wood tray before. Really, really cute. Like I say, as a design I've not seen. So I was really excited to find that. And then I found these. 
They're so pretty. Now they only have this cutout on one side, but it's really pretty, really pretty. So I found that pattern and I found this one. And I found this one. These were the only patterns that I saw there. So I grabbed all of the different ones that I could find. What do we have here? Oh, and I found, um, I found one of these. I'm gonna use it for the car. It should fit in my cup holder. And uh, these I have been looking for. So I was really excited to find them. And when I was going through the, through the checkout, uh, the gal behind me said, well, that's really cute. What would you use that for? And I said, I was going to put it in my cup holder. Well, and she and also the cashier were like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. I thought that that's what these were for. I mean, maybe that's not what they were for, but oh yeah, it even says car garbage can. So yeah, anyway, that's what I'm going to do with it. Let's see, I found a couple of Easter bottle brush trees. Shoot, this one kind of bent a little bit from sitting in that bag for the last few days. Uh, but I got this pink one and this, it's a very, I don't know if it's coming through. It might look blue on, um, on the camera, but it's actually green. It's very light green. And I think they do have blue and they had, they had some with actual little like decorations glued in them. Um, but I like these a lot. So I grabbed those. I also picked up another, uh, these are the Floral Garden Silver Wire LED lights. I love these things. I put them everywhere. I just, I'm a sucker for lights. What can I say? And, oh, I guess I grabbed two. Yep, I did. Grabbed two of the silver ones. And then I grabbed uh, this metal garden hook. You get two of these. I've got some of these hanging in the garage. I've got various things hanging from them, but I... I'm redoing my craft room and while I'm sorting through everything, it's a process that's taking me forever to do. Um, but I thought I would hang these in the closet in there and then hang some of my uh, wire wreath forms on from them. So, and I probably will have to go back and get more, but I mean, I, I would say a few of them should be able to hang on each one of these hooks, but it, and that'll give me some place to put them you know, that's not on the floor taking up space. So I thought that might be a good idea for those. Oh, what is in here? Oh, she double bagged. Um, so I got more of this um, dishwashing liquid. And these bottles of dishwashing soap are getting smaller. They used to be, like I used to have a hard time doing this because they were so big. 30 ounces. I don't know what they used to be. I wish I still had some of those, um, some of those bottles left, but I'm thinking that they had to be, I don't know, 40, 50 ounces. Well, probably more than that because 40 or 50 wouldn't be that heavy. Maybe they were even 64 ounces. I don't know, but they were a lot bigger than this. So we're paying the same price, but we're getting a lot less product, which really annoys me. Shoot, these are bent now. Um, so I found... I needed some more bags, just generic gift bags. And I just thought this was nice. Um, I could use my Cricut and put whatever the occasion is on here. Congratulations on your wedding, you know, new baby, birthday, whatever it is. Um, this also, the material... I don't know, this would make a really nice uh, journal cover, really, planner cover. I mean, it's it's just really pretty. I don't know, I just like it. And then this one also is kind of generic. It doesn't say happy birthday or anything on it, so you could turn this into whatever you wanted to. It could be for really several different types of occasions. And then I saw this one. Uh, this, I just thought it was beautiful, uh, pretty spring. And it's got glitter on this side, and then this side is smooth. But it's one of the larger ones. And, um, you know, I just, I needed a variety of sizes. I've got a ton of these in the basement. Most of them are Christmas. So I needed things that didn't say Christmas, didn't say birthday. Okay, then I found this uh, paper tray. 
um, and this is gray. I tend to gravitate toward the gray plastic things that they have, storage, whatever it might be. Um, you know, this is more of a charcoal gray. It's not really black. Um, though the bottom is black, I think, maybe. But the top is definitely charcoal gray. So anyway, I saw this in this color, and I scooped that up. So that will go in my craft room also. What else do we have in here? Oh, I found these at the checkout. Safety pins, a hundred. And they're very, the reason I got this is because they're different sizes. Hopefully you can see that and it's not blurry. I can't tell. Okay, then I found these in the plus section. Oh, I loved these. So I grabbed two of them. Probably going to want more. But these are so nice. These are the, let's see, Solar Pathway Light, I guess, is that the brand? I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, they're really nice. It's got the little uh, stake right here that, that goes through the bottom, and you stick it in the ground, and here's your little solar uh, panel, and this cute little light. I just thought it was adorable. So like I said, I grabbed two of these, but... I'm thinking I'm going to need more. They, they just look a lot higher end than Dollar Tree. And they look, they don't look like you spent $5. So, but yeah, they were in the plus section. So grab them. Um, it seems like I always, they always have something in the plus section as far as lighting every summer that I really like. And so I always have to grab it. So that will do it for the Mason City... 565 South Illinois Avenue. So that's where all this stuff came from. Great Dollar Tree. Great people that work there. Again, if you're watching, my condolences. So, um, I have another Dollar Tree haul that I need to film from Mason City, but a different store. And then I also have one from Charles City that I need to film. Um, so that'll do it. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe if you haven't done so already. You can be notified by hitting that notification bell. It'll let you know when I upload new content. This is Kim from Pink Squirrel Studios signing off for today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.